This story of Nibiru is a captivating tale woven from threads of astronomy, prophecy, and human fascination with the unknown. While NASA's acknowledgement in 1982 ignited the initial spark, the narrative quickly spiraled into a global phenomenon, blurring the lines between scientific discovery and apocalyptic intrigue. The origins of Nibiru remain shrouded in some mystery. While some credit NASA with its introduction, others point towards interpretations of ancient texts, particularly those of Sumerians, the Karya Sitchin, an author known for his controversial interpretations of Mesopotamian mythology, proposed Nibiru as a twelfth planet orbiting our sun in an elongated elliptical path. This theory, however, lacked concrete evidence and was widely disputed by mainstream astronomers. The year 2009 marked a pivotal moment in the Nibiru saga. Nancy Leder, founder of the website Zeta Talk, predicted that Nibiru would become visible as a faint reddish object in the night sky on May 15th. This prospect sent shock waves through the astronomical community and the general public alike. The idea of a giant planet suddenly appearing near Earth captivated the imagination, and anticipation rose to a fever pitch. However, seasoned astronomers remained skeptical. They pointed out the lack of any credible scientific evidence supporting the existence of Nibiru. Telescopes across the globe constantly trained on the cosmos failed to detect any anomaly. The predicted sighting of May 15th came and went with nothing to show for it, leaving believers perplexed and skeptics vindicated. In 2012 approached, the Nibiru narrative became interwinted with the Mayan calendar. The end of the Mayan long cone calendar on December 21st, 2012 was misinterpreted by some as a prophecy of an apocalyptic event. Nibiru now transformed from a celestial wanderer to a harbinger of doom, was slated to collide with Earth or cause a devastated planetary alignment, ushering in the end of days. Governments, according to some conspiracy theories, were provided this knowledge and implemented secret measures to ensure survival or maintain public order during the supposed cataclysm. The lack of any official permanence from space agencies only fueled the flames of suspicion. The Mayan calendar wasn't the only source feeding the neighboring frenzy. Parallels were drawn with the prophecies from other ancient civilizations, such as the Sumerians, Mary, and Hopi Indians. Each culture, it was claimed, possessed knowledge of a cyclical celestial event that would bring about drastic changes on Earth. The confluence of these disparate traditions lent an air of legitimacy to the Nibiru narrative, despite the lack of concrete evidence from any source. The scientific community remained largely unfazed by the Nibiru hysteria. Established astronomical principles simply did not support the existence of such a planet. The lack of any observable evidence combined with the implausibility of its proposed orbit made Nibiru a scientific non-entity for most astronomers. However, the allure of Nibiru narrative transcended the realm of scientific inquiry. It tapped into a primordial humor fear of the unknown and a fascination with cataclysm events. The potential end of the world, as prophesied by ancient calendars and fueled by sensationalized media reports, resonated with a significant portion of global population. While the doomsday predictions gained the most traction, some interpreted the Nibiru narrative differently. New Age philosophers and spiritual movements viewed Nibiru as a catalyst for a positive transformation a harbinger of a new era of consciousness. This interpretation emphasized spiritual awakening and a shift in humanity's collective consciousness rather than destruction and devastation. December 21st, 
2012, came and went without any signs of Nibiru or planetary apocalypses. Yet the narrative continues to hold a certain allure for some, finding new life online in the fringe communities. The Nibiru saga serves as a cautionary tale about the spread of misinformation in the digital age. Rapid communication and the ease of information sharing can create fertile ground for sensationalized claims with little basis in reality. The story of Nibiru highlights the importance of scientific literacy and the need for critical thinking in the world saturated with information. Promoting educational initiatives that teach individuals to evaluate information, identify credible sources, and understand basic scientific principles becomes crucial. Additionally, fostering open communication between the scientific community and the public can help to ban misinformation and build trust. The Nibiru saga exemplifies this fascination. It speaks to a deep-seated human desire to understand our place in the universe and the forces that shape our existence. While the specific narrative of Nibiru may be demonstrably false, the urine for cosmic connection and meaning persists. The urine has fueled the scientific quest for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, through powerful radio telescopes and advanced data analysis, scientists are actively scanning the cosmos for signals that may originate from technologically advanced civilization. While no definitive proof of alien life has been found yet, the ongoing search represents a more grounded exploration of the unknown compared to the Nibiru narrative. Our own solar system also holds mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Missions to Mars, the exploration of Jupiter's moon Europa and the ongoing study of Saturn's rings are just a few examples of how scientists are pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. The potential for discovering life in some form within our cosmic neighborhood continues to inspire exploration and scientific inquiry. The Nibiru narrative, despite its lack of scientific basis, serves as a reminder of the power of storytelling. Myth and legends have captivated humans for millennia, offering explanations for natural phenomena and shaping our understanding of the world around us. While some narratives may be rooted in fear or superstition, others foster a sense of wonder and inspire us to reach for the stars. The human desire to find meaning in the vastness of space is a complex one. Science offers a structured and evidence-based approach to understanding our place in the universe. However, the emotional and philosophical dimensions of this quest cannot be ignored. Stories like the Nibiru narrative, even when demonstrably false, can tap into these deeper yearnings and inspire a sense of awe and wonder. The Nibiru saga serves as a valuable lesson in the importance of a balanced approach. A healthy dose of curiosity, coupled with critical thinking skills, is essential in navigating the information overload of the digital age. Encouraging scientific literacy and fostering open communication between scientists and the public can help us distinguish between fact and fiction. Ultimately, the story of Nibiru is a reminder that the human search for meaning in the cosmos is a continuous journey. By embracing scientific inquiry while acknowledging the power of storytelling, we can continue to explore the mysteries of the universe with a blend of reason and wonder.